click this video, I think you want to advance tuck, but you're basically stuck in tuck flat. I got gotcha. you. But remember, I'm just trying to sh don't do on resistance band the workout which you do. Up. All right. Those people who say you gotta do push-ups before the tuck planche to get 20 and 30, I'm not gonna do that or bullshit. We're gonna go straight to the point. Let's get with our first exercise. Remember that when you're always gonna go for the tuck planche or advanced tuck planche, make sure you're always measuring the length between your bars. Make sure it's like on the same place, not sometimes closer, sometimes to the right. So what I like to do is put my elbow then I see the distance between and then try to fix one distance and that's gonna help you to improve your tuck plan. So of course I'm giving you this tutorial after my workout. So I'm kinda tired, but this is the, I just have an hour free time to give you tutorials. Cause I have a long busy schedule next week, so. Make sure you're not rounding your spine. Nope, just keep it neutral. You gotta protract, but don't focus too much on protraction that you forget to lean and you push it, okay? Okay. So here I go with push-ups. Again, you can do more than 5, 6, 10. It would be good to go next. But again, create volume, then focus on form. Okay? So, front find push-ups. The best way to improve uh, the Remember that whenever you're pushing, try to push forward then backwards. I made a mistake for one year continuous. I was doing this. I was trying to do a push up, but I was pushing backwards. Push forward so you apply strength, more pressure on the shoulder. But you, you don't have to do all the time, all right? Only go on your stronger days. You're gonna have weak days, so you gotta slow down, all right? This is how I now change the... This is how I progress. You can see when I pushed up, I try to lean forward, try to engage those 
that back muscle and the shoulder itself, all right? Now, many people can lean forward because they don't have flexibility on their wrist. So I want you to practice, take a bar and try to see how further you can go because the leaning, this can be a problem, you know? Maybe you have good shoulder strength, but you have bad wrist strength. So this can be another factor. So try to improve the flexibility of the wrist and you'll be good, okay? Now, another one, very famous, everyone does it. L sit to tuck, best way. All right, take it so from L sit into tuck. That was advanced, I guess, but okay. This is a good way to, you know, to progress from tuck planche to advance again. Because I'm trying to use those abs in L-sit. And again, I'm trying to use those abs in protraction form. So I'm trying to get that muscle connection for the abs to brain. Many people don't activate their abs, but you know, don't focus on that activation all the time, all right? Create volume, as I said, and then focus on form have to lean forward every single day but you're gonna feel some day soreness bad days so you might take a step back for those days I'll show you what to do but let me finish with this the thing is uh, tuck plant to advance kickups so this is gonna be like this Remember to breathe out when you're going to your tuck plant, all right? Breathe in and then breathe out, okay? So focus on the breathing as well, okay? You can do this and then tuck plant. This and then tuck plant. As I told you, I've done with my workout, so I have zero energy and I eat at night only, so I, I don't do lunch, so I'm basically very low in energy but I'm trying to give you this tutorial so focus on that don't focus on my energy right now um, you saw that drill tuck plunge to advance tuck to advance that's gonna improve your strength of your arms all right so you saw me shivering at the second rep maybe here so yeah that shiverness because I have no energy I have no strength in the arms okay so it's a good way to improve the strength of the arms and then lean forward and then advance that it's problem possible now remember that you don't have to push your legs up you just have to lean forward and your legs will automatically come up yes now look this is me doing with my okay, so I might have done bad in that but you get the point right you try this you're gonna see a difference trust me that's how I'm doing these straddle planches. If you see my uh, latest video, I post every day by the way. We hit 2k subs, thank you. And if you watch my videos, you can see I reach straddle planche, don't you? So I have improved from tuck to straddle. If you go in my oldest videos two years ago, I used to just do tuck planches for a year. And I was just stuck in that like you. So believe it or not, these were the steps I did to improve. But remember, I didn't do this again for the next day. For the next day, I tried to go for more advanced, you know? So stop sticking to the same routine every day. Try to change it, all right? If you feel good today, uh, spam something greater. If you feel bad today, spam something which has less stress on your body, all right? So another drill you can do is the frog tuck planche. Another thing is that many people, if you can do advanced tuck planche, maybe your glutes are the problem, or maybe your, you know, your back hip muscles, which are the rhomboids, not the rhomboids, uh, the the, quadrat the quadratus lumborum, but uh, these are the back muscles. Um, this one is the frog tuck planche. I have done this, and it's quite improvement.
of course this is a progression for the straddle planche but trust me frog is gonna help improve that strength and try to lean more forward improve that shoulder strength all right and uh, the wrist so these are uh, these are the three key points i've given you strength of the arm leaning forward flexibility of the wrist that's all you gotta do focus on these things your advanced tuck planche will be unlocked cool now let's go for the days where you feel low energy and bad energy. What are you gonna do that day? Let me show you with this transition.